Hey guys, what is happening? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Mealtime. And in this one, it's going to be Hungarian food. So the question is, are you hungry for hungry? So this is the animal we're going to be eating today. It's called Mangaricha. Oh, it looks yeah. like Wagyu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, guess you did right. That's cheers. Cheers to you. This is a white wine spritzer. The first dish is a goulash soup, otherwise known as a cowboy soup, right? Meat and vegetables, and that deep red color is the paprika. Awful lot of vegetables in there. One piece of meat, it's one part meat, 20 parts vegetable. <laughs> There's another piece of meat, there we go. It's mostly carrots. It smells very tomato-y. Let's see. Yeah, it's a cowboy soup. It's just a little spicy. I do like the paprika. It's nice, it's got a tanginess. This is pretty good. It's pretty basic, but it's delicious. Next up, we have a beautiful looking salami plate appetizer. Yeah. Maybe that'll go well with my wine spritzer. <laughs> I don't know. I just. I don't think there should be bubbles in wine. That would be champagne, right? This is this is more like a soft drink, but it's got alcohol in it. It is refreshing, I'll say that. Try the salami by itself first. Mm. Oh, that is really good. Really, really good. Salty, greasy, oily, meaty, fresh. And this is a cabbage salad here. Oh my goodness. The cabbage is overpowering. Oh, it's pickled. It's, it's very, very strong. <laughs> I should have just put a little bit or put more meat. Let's try it with more meat than just a tiny bit of this. It's pickled cabbage. This is more appropriate. Yeah, definitely. Can we do it in one bite? I think we can. That is a tasty appetizer. So this is called foie gras, and it is fatty goose liver. Oh yeah. It's served with apples, maybe cinnamon apple, apple here. Both of these are apple, and then walnuts. And she's directing me to eat it with walnuts and the apple together. I don't know how I feel about this. Fattened goose liver, but I do have this wine to wash it down with. Here we go. Wow, that's one of the most unique flavors I've ever had in my mouth. Let's go bold here and try the goose liver just by itself. Oh, that's foul. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh. It needs something sweet to go with it. It needs a sweet wine. It needs some sweet apples. It needs something. Yeah, goodness. Oh, 
that's just it's explosive it's like dynamite in your mouth it just goes off this lovely looking dish is paprika chicken going in pretty tasty oh boy the pasta it's all formed together here get that it looks like macaroni and cheese It does kind of remind me of macaroni and cheese. This dish is called Sekeli cabbage or Hungarian cabbage. The blend of the sauerkraut and the, there's a gravy in it. A lot of different flavors at work here. But the sauerkraut is fairly overpowering. The meat is nice and tender, stew-like. This dish is called Tudu Kaposta. It is a rolled cabbage. This one smells the strongest. Definitely a lot of herbs and spices happening here. There we go. Kind of tastes like ground beef. It's ground pork. It's in a very sweet sauce. This is the sweetest dish of them all. The main event is here, and this is the very special Mangalika. That's the name of this animal. It's like a wild pig, like a wild boar, without the horns on it. It's definitely a uh, wholesome. Like she said, they're like bacon steaks or ham steaks, or I don't know, they kind of look like pork chops. Mm. Oh, look at all that grease coming out. Oh, look at the, the moistness. It's very tender. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, here we go. Kind of resembles a pork chop. Just like a pork chop, but oh, the most tender, fatty, delicious pork chop ever. Oh, goodness. This is really interesting. They're potato chips. Literally potato chips, aren't they? There you go. Freshly made potato chips with salt and paprika. Mmm. Perfection. Oh, so good. And this cut of meat here is the bacon. Yeah, it was kind of hiding there. So, yeah, a bacon steak. That is smoky, smoky, smoky. I just can't get over how soft it is. That's just incredible. The bacon steak I've had in the past has always been kind of tough. It's delicious and juicy and smoky. Mmm, that's good. Dessert is served. This is a rare Hungarian trifle. Yes. It's a dessert for men, is the way she described it. So you know it's gotta be good, right? And she says they eat portions about five times as big as this, but we're in Japan, so small portions. Kinda reminds me of apple cobbler a little bit. I'm tasting apples, I'm tasting the fudge with the chocolate sauce, walnuts. It's pretty darn good, it's very moist. It's the best sponge cake I've ever had. And to drink with dessert, we've got a honey, vanilla, and chamomile tea. Let's go for it. Very pleasing. Not too herbal. This is really good. I think they've mastered those three flavors together. The honey, the vanilla, and the chamomile. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there it was. Hungarian food. I really enjoyed just about everything. It was a fabulous food. It feels like at home style cooking. Every dish was amazing actually. A lot of surprises. The goose's liver, the fatty liver, that was really exotic. But oh goodness, that pig, the mangalika. Oh, that meat, that's some of the best meat I've ever had. Goodness. 
So on my rating scale, between one and six Eric heads, I'm gonna go six today. It's a nom nom nom. That means I'm giving away three of my Get Some Snack Packs. There'll be a link up here if you wanna check it out and see what's inside. But basically it's goodies that I give away from Japan and send off to you as my thanks for watching my videos. So the only thing you need to do to enter for your chance to win is put a comment down below. I'll be giving away three of them and the winners will be announced in the very next Eric Mealtime. So thanks again for watching you guys and we will see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some.